Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to True Radio. Um, this is Black Chill P. I'm over here on the side nigga cam. <laughs> um, that's what I've officially named this uh, camera. Um, guys, tonight's going to be an explosive night. Sheeta P is absolutely sick. She was coughing every second word. And I was like, just stay home. So Sheeta P's sick, so she can't be here tonight. But we got our team is so interchangeable, and that's the most amazing thing about our team. Uh, we got myself, Black GOP. Hi, everybody. Yeah, your favorite, you know, non-Democrat and Democrat hater. And you also got 151 in the building. What's going on? Giving it to you straight with no chase. You know, I got to make fun of a couple of shits, but, you know, we're going to wait to get on that. <laughs> Empire and then the, 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 the I'm just actually happened to be reading about the come up nigga of the year award that we about to give it to Mary J. Blige, <laughs> oh, ex-husband. Shit. We'll talk about that Yo, in a little he said bit. The come up of the year. Oh, I got to hear about that. Yeah, Dog, and, the, and, and the next person on the panel tonight, we got Ken DC People's Champ. What What's up, happening? bro? What's happening? Yo, I'm surrounded by a very esteemed panel. You know, I got my man right here to my left, the Reform Street nigga. We got the alcoholic entertainment nigga right here. And exactly. we got the professional side nigga over there. I'm surrounded <laughs> by a bunch of niggas. And of course, I got the well dressed nigga right here. So, I mean, we're going to do what we'll do what we do. Got to have somebody to talk to the police. <laughs> <laughs> And, speak, and speaking of which, and speaking, it's, it's already it's already started, folks. And speaking of which, we got Look at C, that alley -oop, boy. we got we got CP three in the building. What's, What's going on, on CP three? Oh, babe, it's been a sleepy Wednesday for me. I actually took a twenty second time out today and spent some nice time on the couch mm -hmm. recouping, getting ready for this wild show. With uh, I'm already got my seatbelt buckle because with this panel, no telling where we going tonight. Nigga, I hope you washed your hands before you came out the house talking about recouping on the couch. Okay, my bad. Hey, ooh, man. Ooh, ooh. All right, ooh. My bad. All right, happens on so. the couch stays on the couch. Until a blue light shows up on the couch, yeah. then we know what the fuck is going on. All right. Well, and let, me, let me tell you, it really does stay on the couch because I was trying to clean it because I had a guest coming over this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh, my God. So, right. let's start the show now. So, folks. Um, uh, how long did she stay? <laughs> she, she didn't come, actually. She didn't care. She didn't. She she. Literally didn't come to the crib and she didn't come at all. Damn. So, you know, or maybe she might have found a new sponsor. I was trying to sponsor the broad, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm you gotta get your weight up, player. Dude, dude, my, my, my weight is amazing. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> if she didn't come, you gotta get your weight up, man. Hey, dude, some, sometimes they don't show up. That's just what it yeah, is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's right. You know, um, right. folks, um, everybody, again, welcome back to. Uh, you know, true radio. Okay, so I don't know where to start. <laughs> do so we much. do we go with the Empire guy? Do we sure, do let's do that. <laughs> let's do the Empire. But guy. we got to make sure that we also make sure that we do our door knocking campaign in the nigger district. I yes. live across the street. I live across the street from there, so we can make it. We can definitely do that, and then we can hang out at the crib and everything. Okay, yeah. My bad. You know, because yeah, right. because there it there's is. been a nigger district announced, yeah. you know, and, you know, and and it's. and even though we all know it is right, but like mm. you can't say it. But so like she can't say that. Yeah, we she can't. can't. She can't. We can't. We can. <laughs> but we, I Especially even, when you live in Hartford I even, County, I wouldn't even say it on air. But like now, it's I out there. I would. You, say it. you got you got you know? governors in blackface. I Listen, mean, she governors she are in blackface. She represents Hartford County. I've been in Hartford County, you know, and that ain't the most redneck ass county in the so, world. <laughs> so we gotta go. So we gotta go. So we gotta go with the Empire guy first, and I think R. Kelly second, right? We gotta talk about R. Kelly. We got to. Oh, let's go. Let's go with that. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I think that's the agenda because, like, we had a, a show. Hey, let me tell you, folks, real fast before we get to the show. Show, right? We had a um, like I said, Sheeta was sick. So next thing you know, we had to totally rearrange everything. And I didn't even tell these guys what their arrangement was. It's been in my head for the last three hours. <laughs> and I never said, "Hey, guys, we're gonna do it this way, this way, that way, this way, that way." It just we're here now, My so we're, we're we're gonna make the show up as it goes, if that's okay. This is gonna be fun. Unscripted, <laughs> unscripted baby. So 
Okay, so the, the, the Empire guy, what's his name? Jesse. Um, P- Jesse. Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The nigga, really is Pinocchio. the nigga name is Pinocchio. It's like Jesse Smollett. Uh, yeah, Je- yeah, yeah, Jesse it, Smollett. That's no. Spanish for Pinocchio. Um, right, well, I, well, right. I, well, I, I will link to the panel, and I'll go with CP3 first. CP3, um, what's your thoughts? And, and, and by the way, is your Nigerian trainer going to call into the show? Yo. <laughs> See, that's, that's what's starting to get me now. All the twists and turns are starting to come out after the Nigerian. Okay, we had the picture with them getting the hat in the rope. We got the check. Now, supposedly, the check is for training because he was about to do a video and had to get in the shape. And apparently, it's the text messages corroborating that. And it's just getting so fishy now. It's, I, at this point, man, I already knew from the beginning it was, it didn't sound right. Okay, you got a black guy at 2 o'clock in the morning going to Subway, and then he just randomly comes across two white guys with a rope screaming MAGA country. And, and bleach, bleach. And bleach. And bleach. Yes. And calling you a, a faggot and a nigger. That's, that's just too much racism for anything. <laughs> I mean, that's just too much. That, that's like somebody was reading a racist handbook and said, we're going to go out and do this T by T and show what we really are. It just didn't add up to me. And now with all the twists and turns, I, I don't know what to believe right now. I just want them to go away for real. No, <laughs> my man paid these two guys $3,500 to basically jump him and make it look like a hate crime. I heard, man, I heard Terrence Howard approach that nigga, and I'm pretty sure it's that, that conversation with Terrence Howard probably was like, yo, it's fucked up, man. How you gonna go out there and get, get jump yourself with a, with a hate crime, man? You shouldn't have did that, man. You gotta feel the music, man. You gotta, you gotta feel the music, man. You know what I'm saying? Dog, let me tell you something. As the story developed, I started to see almost off the break that it was bullshit. Because... And I've heard many different outlets talk about this. If someone's going to put a noose around my neck and whoop my ass, I'm not waiting not even 30 seconds before I'm on the phone with the feds like, yo, these two white dudes just whoop my ass and put a noose on my neck. Y'all better come out here and get this shit. I'm not waiting, no 45 minutes to an hour still having a noose on my neck talking and trying to get the cops then. Nah, that's dumb. If somebody whoop your ass, you better be on the phone quick and not with your manager. You need to be on the phone with the feds. So at that point, I knew it was bullshit. And it's just as everything started to come to light, it just showed more and more why this is bullshit. And apparently he did it because he wasn't getting that much bread on Empire. That's the word. And I'm like, well, number one, who still watches Empire? Well, they got they have a huge following. I don't agree with it, man, but they listen, do. Man, listen, that huge following, man, they, something wrong with them anyway. But um, <laughs> who really watch, still watches Empire? That's number one. Number two. The only reason why I know of the last name of Smollett is because there were a couple of other Smollett's that were a little bit more relevant than this gentleman in, 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 in television. And no one knew who this guy was except for on Empire. He can't come back from this. He can't do nothing. He can't do nothing entertainment-wise at all. If he was doing this to try to get relevant, or oh, he's relevant all right now, he's going to be relevant and he's going to be sitting behind, in the clink. Basically, because he, he, he just perpetrated a huge hoax, which is going to cast a bad shadow on anybody else who legitimately is a victim of a hate crime. That's the word. Because that's what's going to happen. Someone's going to legitimately get their ass whooped by a racist, and they're going to do everything right. The victim is, but no one's going to believe it because they're going to be like, oh, this might be like what that did, that Jesse dude did. You know? And that's that's sad. That's the catch 22 of it. That one, is sad. 151, one, one, one. what say you? Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to the, to the fine work of the Chicago Police Department for doing all they can for R. Kelly and, and, and Jesse Smurfett, <laughs> <laughs> but not serving. Do we have sleepers? But, but not serving, you know. Not finding none of the damn murders that actually happened in you know, fucking you know Chicago. What? He makes I mean, a very good point. I mean, let's, they let's, managed to figure out this whole me, R. Kelly let, and Jesse shit. Let but me, you let still let me, don't know who the fuck killed them niggas out there. But the crazy, yeah. the crazy thing is, Chicago is like one of the murder caps of the world, and the two biggest stories in Chicago right now is R. Kelly and Smurfette. I mean, that shit's ridiculous. I mean, this is the same. This is the same place that they that the dude really got on top of a motherfucking car. And Rambo shot like into the car, and, and then the police, not the police, the the um, the news media had to get that footage released and go to court. But they they 
they found R. They found R. Kelly, who was already in Chicago, and they found they actually took enough time to mm-hmm. figure out that it was two Nigerian dudes. First of all, who throws light skin? Who throws bleach <laughs> on light skin niggas in the first place? That just sounds just sounds stupid anyway. It's fucking ridiculous. So, I mean, just just some oh, big gosh. hands on, and then the judge like. They can't find murderers of of, of of these motherfuckers getting shot, but the but the judge that one judge is a celebrity now. He have a court show probably by two thousand nineteen, two thousand twenty one or two thousand twenty. Because the that judge the, the, have a court show next. The same the, the, the same <laughs> judge that um <laughs> that that presided over Smurfette um. He also, um, he also, you know, R. R. Kelly. Like, <laughs> like, what, what, what the fuck is going on here? It, oh, it's, it's man. like we're gonna cover, we're gonna make this the top topic. Like, you're still the murder capital of the United States. Mm, that's a valid point. Facts. Jesus. Christ. Like your shout, murder shout, rate. Shout, shout is out to Detroit. High. Shout out to Detroit. Just on, you know, for the you know second match. <laughs> for the second, shout out to Baltimore for coming in third. Shout out to Baltimore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We love you, Baltimore. You know what I'm bronze. saying? They got the bronze. And then, mm. then DC is trying to catch up with yeah, them too. DC damn sure trying. Now. Well, yeah, well, yeah. the more white people they move in, the less murders. That is, that is <laughs> a fact. Okay. That is it's a fact. Been, it's, been <laughs> fluctu- it's been fluctuating. It's been fluctuating. So we don't know. So, it's starting to get a little. So you gotta wild. be careful with the type of white people you bring in because they might try to do math. Mass murders and everything like okay, my bad. Because all Texas one day, and next you know, twenty seven people are dead. You got to be careful <laughs> bringing all these white people. Far, on. We hey, that far, sorry, that's well. the reality of this country now, man. Unfortunately, <laughs> look, hey, look, GLP, I'm on that ledge with you. I started, I'm on that ledge with you. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, one five one, uh, please finish. Um, so I mean, I, I, I just think it's crazy. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Mary J. Blige's ex husband. The judge just ordered, uh, even though he had a prenup, but he just he, she just ordered um, basically to pay. He has to get paid thirty thousand a month in spousal support. Wow. Like that's the ultimate side nigga come up. For. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga. Yo, he definitely did Dude, came up. I got it, man. I got I, I got to set my game I, up. I, I swear to God, word. if I hold on, real quick, let me hit I the need button a famous again. chick. Button. <laughs> if right. I charge. Could, if I could like somehow fuck up a relationship, because I that's what I do for a living, right? <laughs> All the if time. I could somehow yep. fuck up a relationship and end up with like thirty thousand dollars a month. Bruh. <laughs> I, Bruh. I'd be chilling. And he's probably I, the one that cheated though. That's the funny I shit. Swear, I swear I swear I I swear to I'm you, I would like love that. my <laughs> entire life. Now Okay, let me hop on. Uh, what's his name again? Somebody? Smurfette. I'm, I'm just going to tell you this right, real quick. Jesse you know, Smurfette. Before you get on, on, on Smurfette. Yes. I'm just letting you know right now, Mary J. Bride's about to come out with the remix to I'm Not Gonna Cry No More because she about to cry about giving up 30000 a month on a nigga that ain't cheated on her. Oh, I'm geez. just saying. 30000 wow. 30, a month? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like, I would... <sighs> She's gonna cry every As time she write that check. She's gonna be crying. <laughs> that is a all victory. The way. That is a victory for every man who's on child support. <laughs> um, that's a victory for I mean, every it goes, man. It goes who, both ways. Who has to pay alimony? Who has to pay whatever the fuck? That is a victory for the male species in general. Okay, like that is a ways. victory, and we can all like like tonight, everyone, everyone on the panel, right? <laughs> Since there's no vaginas here tonight, <laughs> everyone, we should all go home and just whack off and be like, <laughs> you know what, a man won <laughs> to a Mary J. Blige, season. like a man fucking won. We we did it one time. It's it's almost it's like landing on the moon. You know, it's all like right, all, <laughs> right, all, right, all right. We're gonna move on. Okay. That's going a little too far. Yeah. I mean, uh, no, no, no. It is. Like, it's, it's, it's like it, landing on the moon. It is. It actually is. I'm hitting the button. Fuck the that. Ad- I'm hitting the button. <laughs> oh man. For the actually um, going that way, that, that is groundbreaking right there for the the male spouse to actually get that money, and I'm, he'd be the one that fucked up. And yeah, like I said, I, I believe he had a prenup. Um, but he was also her manager. They 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 been together for twelve years. Ah, okay. Um. That nigga was and smart. she, 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 that during, was smart, during, during this last, when they were breaking up or doing going through the divorce, she made an album that was fire. I had that shit on. So, like when Mary J. <laughs> Blige gets heartbroken, that shit's like the <laughs> best fucking album ever. Um, shout out to Casey and JoJo. Casey made it platinum and, yeah, and yeah. to join the crew. Who, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, okay, folks. Um, my thoughts on Jesse, Jesse Smurfette. Okay. <laughs> Um, my thoughts are it's it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The entire story makes no sense. And I don't 
really care about what happens on Empire because Empire went like ultra homosexual in the season's finale. So I was like, you know what? And I don't have any problem with homosexuals. And I just don't need to Not watch it. Not at all. Yeah, I, I just don't need to watch it. You know, that's just me, you know. And now, you, you know, you, you're, you're, you somehow called yourself the gay Tupac. Yo, that <laughs> shit killed me. Yeah, my killed nigga, me like, too. my nigga, like, how, oh, how can you even put the words gay and Tupac <laughs> in the same sentence? Like, I got nothing wrong with gays. You know, hit the button, 151. <laughs> he, is <laughs> a, <laughs> he is the reverse Tupac because you think about it. Back in the days, Tupac beat up both of the Hughes brothers, and he got beat up by two Nigerian brothers. And, 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 <laughs> and you pay these people almost $4,000 to beat you up, like, mm-hmm. to the panel. I want to take a second mm-hmm. and express myself. I just slapped them for free. And, and, I, and I, <laughs> I just want to say, if I ever say to you, 151, can DC People's Champ or CP3, if I ever say, hey, guys, I want to pay you to beat me up, like, stop talking to me. <laughs> you know, like, how do you... Mm-hmm. And, 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 and for the fact that... And they have the copy of the check, right? Check. And the ch- fucking check. Like, <laughs> well, first of all, let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. Who the fuck still pays with checks in 2019? <laughs> right, that's hey, what I'm man. saying. Like, he wait, he I stopped paying with checks back in, like, 20. 20- 14. Could cash app them no money? Got your, got your whole signature on the joint. Like your whole signature is there, my man. Yeah, it's like, like, you got PayPal, Venmo, <laughs> Cash App. Yeah. Hey, this nigga writing checks. Nigga, you, hey, can, you, you can send money. Right, man, you out of here, dog. You can, send <laughs> money. you can send money on Snapchat and Facebook. This nigga wrote a check. Wrote a check. <laughs> Opposite. No paper trail. This say I want a paper trail. One, five, one. We need the button. <laughs> Word. And so, and so, like you see the check, the signature, and everybody is like, "Oh well, this is everybody's defense." Because I'm in a lot of political groups and stuff like that, and this is everybody's defense. You're like, well, it wrote, he wrote personal trainer. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I, I said, so he paid this these people, uh-huh. these Nigerian people, almost four thousand dollars for personal training in one check. Like, it's impossible. It's fucking impossible. So now, I said on some post somewhere, I said, is personal training kind of like how me and my weed man never say the word weed? <laughs> <laughs> so, nah, no, hold up. He got a point, though. That's kind of, that's, he got a point, though. You're not going to put in the memo section, check to beat my ass. <laughs> what? You know what I'm You're going to put personal trainer for video. So, yes, a tax write off. That's why I wrote the check for oh, receipts. Like, come on. Come on. I mean, anyway. if 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 I'm in your girl's phone and it says side nigga, <laughs> it's like one five one side nigga. That's that's not good for me. Yeah, you know what you, you know what it's gonna say one five one. It's gonna say best friend. Yeah, it's gonna say, <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's yeah, say, definitely gonna do that. It should say BFF or some bullshit Word. like that. Yeah. Nah, it'd be like nah, my big brother. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Don't so, know, don't put me in your phone as big brother. Nah, oh, yeah. God, God brother, God brother, yeah. play right. cousin, <laughs> cousin. Oh, call, shit like call that. definitely them cousins. Yeah, we all got yeah, cousins, yeah, of course. Um, no, so, that's out. That's out in the, in the Hickville places. Mm. The cousins, they re- okay, never mind. Well, actually, I'm from Pennsylvania, so it's not actually really. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, tonight is tonight anyway, is lit, I'll, folks. Yeah, I smuggle. Okay, my tonight bad. is about to be lit, folks. And Ken DC People's Champ just said he smuggles, right? So no, Jesse Smollett calls himself J.I. Smuggle. All he does is cut out papers uh, in the National Enquirer and try to stay get in trouble. You know, okay. you, you know what I'm saying. So what we have is is a case of somebody who, by the way, and I'm going to get off this in about like another minute or two. <laughs> Um, Jesse Smurfett, Smollett? Smur- I say Smurfett. Okay. Smurfett might as well. Like, Jesse, that motherfucker was. was making $65,000 per episode of Empire. How do you have a problem with that? When no one knew you four years ago. Hey. Like, you can't tell me what what ABC special this nigga was in four <laughs> years ago. Like, and a bigger, real talk. Hold you, up. You, and a bigger question is, you making 65 k per episode. How you can only pay $3,500 to a couple of Nigerians? Like, what kind of shit is that? Hey, and them niggas was going to take it. They took it, like, willingly. Hey, 3500 to Nigerians, bro. Mm-hmm. They can send back, you know, send back and buy some camels some drafts and some more stuff for the well, house. Well, yeah, well, well they actually, um, uh, let's, let's follow the story. They actually went back to their country right after the incident happened. Uh, 
I yeah, didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I kind of been look. I, like I haven't talked or posted about it because it's so. It's too much. It's so convoluted that you like you can't figure out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they, but both of them went back to the country and now they have this awkward attorney, and you know they had this press conference. It was a disaster. I don't know if you guys saw it. It was a disaster. No, no I didn't. It was a goddamn disaster. <laughs> um. So anyway, folks, we got. I do have a good point, but not to interrupt you, Black JLV. Sure. At least he didn't put self-defense, because obviously we know that didn't work for him. True. If he put self-defense, man, I'd have been like, look here, nigga. Because <laughs> I, I was sitting there like... Refund. I'm sitting, <laughs> right. I'm sitting there like, okay, if I get attacked by these racist Trump people, let's just say it happened, right? It could happen. It, it could yeah, happen. it's definitely possible. And, and, and there's a noose around my neck. Why is it still there 40 minutes later? Dude, he's in Chicago. The least thuggest dude carries a gun. <laughs> I didn't, you know. Folks. You don't you don't hear there's stabbings in Chicago. <laughs> you hear there's gunshots. Oh well, yeah. I mean shots I mean again, there there was one year where Chicago had more murders than American soldiers lost in I believe Iraq. And Kanye said that line. Yeah. And I, I was like, let me just Google it and see if it's a line or if it's real. If it's facts. It was actually facts. So I was like, God damn. Like, wow. It's crazy. Um, Folks. Excuse me. R. Kelly. <laughs> we got we got to go there and yeah, we're gonna, we got to and we're, and we're gonna we're gonna go on the same the same the same <laughs> line the same way we ran the thing um CP3 you know <laughs> is it the remix to ignition oh man out this, fresh out the kitchen uh we spoke about this previously with the you know special that they had that exposed all of the debauchery that was going on with R. Kelly that was getting covered up apparently some more tapes came out uh, uh actual female that was abused by him at the age of 16 came out and basically calling out other victims to say you know if you were come out <laughs> and now this man has got locked up and indicted for what was it 10 counts um 10 counts 10 counts two um, of those counts were uh two girls with ll cool j right? yo <laughs> 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 that nigga's nasty. All right. All I got to say is, I mean, we all knew what it was. We knew years ago. We all saw the tape. You know, we know how people cover up for the famous and the celebrity. We know how the black community, when it's a popular black whatever, whatever, is going to ride or die with them, even if the evidence is right there in front of their face. He needs to go down. He needs to get locked up. And, you know, when the final number is given for how many lives he's ruined, it's probably going to be a huge disgusting number and the ripple effects is going to be tremendous throughout the whole community because then you're going to have the fall off from you know him not doing some of the stuff he did in the community and you're going to have some folks still not believing it it's it's just a ugly ugly situation that the scab the the band-aid is getting you know torn off of the the scab that's we known to been there and now it's just you know, he going to go to McDonald's after he get out. You know, so I mean, and a double cheeseburger. Uh, like yeah, I, I, with I really. With didn't. A, with, I heard with, it was a Big Mac with with, with, <laughs> with um with with some barbecue sauce, mind yeah, you. Yeah. I thought it was just, a Happy just Meal. To, just to slide that <laughs> nigger, <laughs> just to slide that <laughs> nigger on it. They was like, oh, and he got some barbecue <laughs> sauce. <laughs> With yeah, his burger. It, I mean, the fact that he just rode to McDonald's like it was nothing, you know, that just lets you know the the type of mindset. And the normal person be like, after all of that stuff, they want to go in the house and try to regroup, smoke a J, drink a drink. He goes to McDonald's and be around kids in his entourage. With his legal team. With his you. legal team, yeah. So, they're just, they're uh, just that whole there. team is nasty. I, I, I um, don't know, man. All them niggas Candy see people's champ. Uh, look, man. We're talking, we're talking to R. Kelly, dude. Look. And, that, and, and I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Mind. You know what? I, I just want to make sure. With, I see plenty 18. wrong with bump and grind if that chick is under 21. I don't give a fuck who you are. It's 18. Well, I don't give a damn. Unless 18. you're in West Virginia. Oh, it's, it's like what 14, 15 Hey, hey Don't talk about West, <laughs> Hey, don't talk about West Virginia Shout out to Jay Legend, man Hey, that's my nigga, right? Yeah, for real <laughs> But listen, man That whole situation With R. Kelly, man It's been, it's been nasty It's been nasty I, don't, I never really rocked With R. Kelly After 12 play anyway So I had no problem With canceling him When a lot of this shit Started to come out And now it's really Starting to come out And it, yet there are still People who are supporting This dude And I'm just like what is wrong with y'all? Like, why are y'all still supporting this shit? And I can't use the whole argument of what if it was your daughter or what was your younger cousin because people don't want it, don't seem to want to hear that shit. And it's it's sad 
because, I mean, let's, let's like, full transparency. Um, I have a daughter by proxy through my lovely better half, who we just celebrated six years together on Saturday. Hey, Jess, I love you. Um, I wish a grown-ass man would try to take advantage of her, because then he ain't going to get locked up. I will, because I'm going to kill that nigga. <laughs> Point blank, period. You, there, ain't a, there ain't any amount of money in the world. For some dude to give me to be hush hush after he touches on my daughter in an inappropriate way. Ain't no way in the world. You can't even pay me to keep from killing you. That's what's gonna happen. And that's where we are in this in this situation. R. Kelly paid a lot of hush money to these people. He paid out a lot of money to continue to be this nasty, nasty, nasty individual. And now finally, finally, the chickens have come home to roost. And he going to end up in jail. And let me tell you something. My father's a former CEO. And the stories he told me of what they do to child molesters in jail, whoo, baby. He better hope he can fly. Because he's going to be flying, all right. He's going to be flying off a balcony somewhere and up in there. I'm just, tell- I'm just telling you. Nice. Uh, one, five, one. You I know. remember I remember we had this exact conversation. I think this exact same panel, I believe. And you made the comment. Or the statement, comment, statement, call it whatever you want. And you said, would you give your your cat to a Chinese restaurant? <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. That's not like some shit I said. <laughs> and so, that um, shit you said. And, so um, and you actually said something around that line. I might have missed a word or two. But So I'm wondering right now, how are you feeling about the R. Kelly situation? Well, well the, the funny thing is... We should all be shouting out the woman that actually posted the bell for uh, R. Kelly. Um, and by the way, and by the way, real fast, the main woman who posted the majority of the money was white. Thank you, everybody. Sorry, <laughs> go go. But <laughs> but, but she was, um, uh, from my understanding, it was a GoFundMe that that they actually had. Wow. Um, women actually started um, a GoFundMe mm. for it. Um, well, because they know, don't say and, anything wrong with a little and, bump and the and thing grind. About it, even about the, these new tapes that are surfacing, if you recall, back in the days when they originally started the argument, it was several tapes that were stolen from R. Kelly. That they're just so oh, the yeah. person basically whoever whoever had the tapes just been hit, just been holding on to them now. Um, and my, my my biggest issue is with the with the Fairweather fans. Like, don't sit up there. Like when I when I saw the tapes back in the days, I stopped rocking with them. That's just me. Like, don't, two weeks ago, you was the remix to Ignition. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, you so appalled because you watched a Lifetime special. You already knew this shit. Yeah, hey, you knew. Like, like, you already knew what he was doing. And it's like, you know, you let Michael Jackson, you know, babysit your kid? No. No, you don't. You don't take your cat to a Chinese restaurant. You don't let Michael Jackson <laughs> babysit your kid. And you know how your daughter go it's, it's the go, cat, go, the, go go stay at R. R- Kelly's house. First, I mean, this is common sense. First off, first off, one five one. The cat in the Chinese restaurant, like example, deserves the button. Can you? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's like it's like just common sense. It's like, would you? Really, would you trust the alcohol? Would you go come to my house and leave a whole bottle of alcohol and my name is one fucking five one? Would you expect <laughs> to? See, no. Would you expect it to be there the next time that you come? No, no. no. Yeah. That's where gonna be gone. I mean, like real talk. Me and Black GOP. I left a bottle at Black GOP's house. We were supposed to bring it to the to, to the station. Gone. It was gone. You know what we did? We bought another fucking bottle. I mean, he was like, "Oh man, we drunk the bottle." I was like, "Oh well, yeah, shit happens." <laughs> you, was, you was thirsty. You were supposed to drink it. I mean, it's just I've common sense. Because yeah, my, home, my, home, my home girl, I, and her name literally her is bottle out the purse. Is bottle out the purse because <laughs> she'll show up right, and I love her to death, and she knows who she is, and she'll appreciate this. <laughs> like, like if she comes over, she'll just pull a goddamn bottle out of her purse. Like, I could have a day where I'm like, I'm not drinking today. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she'll just show up and boom, bottle off the purse. Yeah, that's how she replaced the bottle. She came to the radio show one night and was like, oh, I replaced the bottle and literally pulled the bottle out of the damn purse. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? When I told you, I told you. I was like, I told you. That's a good friend right there, dog. Double button. That's a clutch friend. That's a clutch friend. <laughs> so, but I mean, it's, it's just common oh, sense. Man. So my whole thing is like, these people are so appalled. Like, it shouldn't take lifetime to get you appalled. Like, you should have been appalled like when the shit came out. Like, 
And you know, like, cause literally, some of y'all was on Spotify. Some of y'all, some of y'all was, was 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 still loving his stuff. Like, I'm just the type of person. If I don't rock with you, I don't rock with you. I stopped rocking with him when that happened. Like, I don't give a fuck about step in the name of love. I don't give a fuck about believe I can fly. None of that shit. Yeah. You know, people when you, you when you tell them like, oh, well, he made I believe I can fly, but he also he believed he could hump young young underage women too. That's a word. Folks can't separate so, the celebrity yeah. or the talent and, from the crime. Um, you know, and I would say this before we, you know, move on with the show and transition. Um, my thoughts on R. Kelly is like I'm still an R. Kelly fan. And also shout out to a lot of the females out there because I've seen so many I've never seen so many female Facebook lives that are like that have R. Kelly playing and they're just <laughs> still supporting him. Um, I would say this though, and I think it goes back to something I said as well. Uh, in the earlier show, like you can't put your child in that kind of environment. No, it wasn't like R. Kelly was driving around in the mystery van. There were <laughs> there were parents, there were promoters, there were managers, there were um, other people. You know that still, you know that still just were bringing kids to this dude. And we, and like I said, I'm not defending R. Kelly. I always say that. Make sure we all know that. I'm not defending R. Kelly at all. But they were still providing children to this dude, like to kind of serving them to him, hoping that the kids would get rich or be artists. And, you know, sounds a little Bill Cosby-ish, right, folks? Whatever. I'm not here to defend Bill Cosby either. I could do it, but I'm not here to do it. And, you know, they're serving these these people up to these, to, to, to these grown-ass men and, and and you sit there and you're like, what the, f-? you know what I'm saying? So when it all comes crashing down, for me, I want to see every single parent. I want to see Sparkle on trial. I, R. R. Kelly's guilty. Stop, real fast. R. Kelly's guilty. I get it. Okay, everybody, <laughs> button. <laughs> right? R. Kelly's guilty. Okay. But I want to see Sparkle on trial. I want to see the parents of every single person that let their children hang out with R. Kelly on trial. I want to see all these people on trial. Like R. Kelly, we already know, right? Like my son, by the way, by the way, I found a sun kissed. Um, it's strawberry, folks. I'm such a nigger. So, but at the end of the day, I want to see everyone. I want to see the person who drove the tour bus that a 13 or 14 year old was on who didn't say, hey, honey, where's your mom? He needs to be on trial as well. I want all of them. Well, if you if, if you want to if you want to get correct, I mean, you're not going to tell me that public announcement didn't know. I you mean, know what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, just, because I, once I, again, if if you're talking about music, like we do radio and we hang out, so we know yeah. each other bad habits, good habits, whatever. You can't tell me niggas you go on tour with don't know when you doing that like there's a, like there's a 14 shit. year old girl on the bus. But then you got to look at it, like you say, he was with public announcement. He was the the draw. They was hanger on. Is are they gonna ruin their meal ticket to be moral? He dropped say, them niggas after the second album. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. He dropped them. Exactly. Five. Exactly. He dropped them. They, 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 they were fired. They came out and said something earlier. They little fifteen minutes of fame would be in well, one earlier. Of, one of them. One of them. There was like three, and one of them walked away because of the situation. Oh, okay. And the other two was like, "Well, we didn't see it, so we're gonna stay." But you know they saw it. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's, you had it's, to see it. Like when you're it's making money. like like let's say we're just hanging out right now on, on the show right here on WOBS Radio. Who you with? You know what I'm saying? Let's and let's just say some 14 year old girl walks in. We we all we would all be like, what the fuck is? You know, <laughs> like, we like would, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> like like for real talk, when you see your man, be like. He come, like a black Joe P walked up in here, some that looked kind of young. I'm gonna be like, yo, let me step outside real quick. Like, holla at you. Like, yo, where's her fucking ID? And you, and you, and like, on some real shit. Word. But we all know we, everyone isn't built like that. You got people and, and, that and, don't and, care. Yeah. And, and, and 151, you would also do it with the with the, the stiff back arm, like, hey, man, let me talk let me to you. Talk to you. <laughs> you know, like, like, it'd be one of those situations, like, <laughs> like, nigga, you coming outside? What you want to do? We need to talk for real. We need to talk. <laughs> 
nigga, nigga, we about to have an intervention. Fuck yeah. this show. Nah, what's nah, what's really going on? It's going to be a come to Jesus meeting. Yeah, like, what's really going on? Because you definitely going to need Jesus at this point. You know, we need to have a talk. So, nah, fuck a talk. It's a we, come to Jesus meeting. Nigga, what the fuck are you doing? Button. So, so Button, we, my nigga. <laughs> Button. So when, you, so when you around something like that, like, and where's your homeboys that got that... Like, if you got five homeboys and all five of them are fucking stupid, like that's a problem. Like somebody should have enough common sense to be like, "Yo, dude, I don't want to be part of this. You need to stop." Common sense is not common anymore. Yeah, no, I know. it's not. I mean, not everybody has morals. Not everybody has common sense. Exactly. Yeah, I, I get that. That's the sad part. But of it's just it's just crazy that people will risk. Basically, you know, so they sold for 15 minutes of fame because we ain't heard from public announcements since like '96. Now all of a sudden, these <laughs> niggas is making videos and oh, and they talking, oh, shit. talking, they? talking of oh, shit. <laughs> talking of Vlad TV about this. Oh no, nah, they, like, they trying yeah, to get y'all, ain't, y'all, y'all haven't made an announcement since like '90s, <laughs> since like the. Since like the late nineties, niggas, they and now all of a sudden, y'all, 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 they make an announcement now. They saying we broke. They made an announcement since the nineties. They saying we broke. I'm trying to get some money off of something. Now y'all niggas sing like fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia's got it. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, he did it. Hey, look, look, look. Bottom line is, R. Kelly's mm-hmm. canceled. He should have been canceled a long time ago. If he has, he needs to be canceled now. He needs to be in jail. Get him the fuck out of here. Let's move on. Pretty Probably much. Really pretty mm-hmm. much. Sounds good, get folks. Him, get him um, we have a special segment tonight, and it's called the Blackout. And we'll be back in about five minutes with it. Are we going to the nigger district? Yeah. Well, actually, no. That's where all the white women live. Oh. You know, <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, but, I've like, been in that district. There ain't no white women there. Okay. They don't stay there. <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you come to visit. And you would know, Carol. I'm huh? just <laughs> saying. I had heard some things. You, you, you know. know a street nigga going to know some shit. Like <laughs> you, you, you would know, Carol. Let like me check di- your I like, Facebook. I like that. I like that. How many black girls you got on your Facebook? I like to diversify my portfolio, you know. Because <laughs> Susie's got it. Bye. <laughs> that smells like some personal trainer bullshit. <laughs> Hey, um, all right, yeah. Let, let's take a quick break and um, like a five minute break, and we'll I'm, be I'm, back. You know, we'll be back. I like. I just don't know what happened. <laughs> Sheeta, where are you? <laughs>
folks, we're back. And everybody, again, welcome back to True Radio. Uh, we're here. You know what I'm saying? And we're also with WLES Radio. You know, my first official announcement would be that we are about to start running the Cheryl Underwood show on True Radio Network. Hey. It's, it's, it's just, it's there. It happened. There you go. Yeah, hit the button. You know, Indeed. Just, it's, hit the button again, somebody. Hit it again. Yes, you sir. Know? And so, I, I, and I don't even with with that, well, Jacob. I need to ask you directly. Where did that button come from? Uh, from uh, I'll tell you exactly where it came from. Craig Lucas presents Know Your Head. Hey, yes, Craig Lucas, man, that's that's the guy right there, man. Craig Lucas is that guy, man. Shout out to Craig Lucas, man. Yeah, yes, sir. We, we all love Craig Lucas. Yeah, shout um, out to Craig folks, Lucas, man. Um, I would say this. Um, What's happening right now in the world is we have a, you know, we have a, a split. Everyone hates Trump. We get that. Like, we totally get that. You know what I'm saying? We, like, we hate Trump. We get it. But we have to understand why do we have Trump? That's the part that people aren't talking about. You know, um, Trump is a representation of the entire the entire political system, our entire system of government, being able to say, you know what, fuck life, I'm shutting down the government. I don't care. You know, we, we have to be able to accept that and, and how we can change that. You know what I'm saying? I think that, um, I think I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, too much. I, am I, guys? No, nah, you good. Nah. Just go ahead and go ahead. You go ahead and break hey, it dog, down. Hey, dog, you freestyling. Like, Freestyle. I, I could. You want to do a cipher? <laughs> you know. We could, we, could, we could do that. Um, but uh, cool. I, so, so I'm sitting here trying to figure out why we don't understand why Trump is here. Like we can hate somebody like Trump or or, or George Bush or whoever. And it, it, it doesn't matter because we're indecisive. You know, and that's the ultimate goal. And until we, you know, decide to change that, then it, it, none, none of this works. Hey, by the way, guys, um, shout out to the Swerve Show. They're they're all like, just, guys, come in. They ain't paying you no mind, bro. They rapping, baby. They're they not. Rapping. They're they clearly did. not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so, yeah. shout but, out to those guys. Yeah, they're they're totally cool. And so, but so you know, and 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 when you have a situation where you have a Maryland lawmaker call PG County a county of niggers, like that that that's exactly what was said. You know. And this is then this is a white woman, you know, and, and not just like some Republican like, like white woman that you like you just found in this deep South. This is this is somebody from this turf, you know. And so like, how do you address that? How do you feel about that? The panel. You want to tackle this first one five one and go yeah. down the panel this way? Sure, that's that's All fine. Right. Um, one five one going first, everyone. <laughs> First of all, I no mean, pause. <laughs> it's it's one one is that it's cool to be ignorant right now. You know, you got you got Wait, political people that's like I was in blackface, but you know, fuck it, it's okay. So then it's cool to say, you know what, this is a nigga county, um, and there's no consequences. Like the only person that's paying the consequences, I think, is the one black dude. They like they want him to step down. <laughs> you know, Virginia. Uh, I live. I live there. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did not to, not to cut you off or jump in one far one, but they did uh, strip her of her, her leadership in one of the county of uh, one of the committees uh, in the chamber. That was that was her punishment. I mean, the simple solution is put tape over her fucking mouth. Um, <laughs> She might like that shit. Okay, my bad. I mean, it's just... Oh, it's my a, God. I mean, she is one, from Hartford County. I'm just saying. Okay, my bad. <laughs> it's just one of those things. It's like there's a line that that that, that people are crossing, and they they habitually cross it. And then until something is done about it, they're going to keep crossing and crossing and crossing it, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. One, five, one. The one thing that I would say is um, they don't care about the line anymore. They don't. That's what the um, quote unquote resistance or opposition has to understand. Excuse me. That's the dab. one thing. That's the one thing. <laughs> Thank you for hitting the button. Appreciate it. 
Um, <laughs> that's, that's the one thing that the resistance and opposition has to understand about the Trump administration or the Tea Party administration or the Republican administration is they don't care about facts. They don't need them anymore. They don't. You know, for, for two years, they had, you know, two entire, I mean, not two, but they had the entire side of government. Now they have two. But so, like, they, they, they don't give a rat's ass about facts. You can't factually argue a Trump supporter down. Every single person in this room, including, you know, my, my, my folks from the Swerve Show, um, has argued with a Trump supporter. And they don't give a rat's ass about facts. They don't care anymore. They, really they just don't. don't care. Jacob's arguing with a Trump supporter. I don't even know Jacob. You know what I'm saying? I, I know he's gonna have a baby with Cheetah, but I don't I don't, I don't but I don't know Jacob. You know what I mean? But like that, you know, but like, I know he's had an argument somewhere, maybe here, maybe online, maybe somewhere with a Trump supporter. Trump supporters don't care anymore. And that's what I'm telling people. I'm like, they're doing the same old pattern and they're walking into it in twenty twenty. And I'm getting ready to go to uh Candy Speakers Champ, you know. But these people do not care about facts. And, and as a former, con I'm a George Bush conservative, right? I lived that life. I've been there. You can't be a Trump conservative. It's just, it's crazy town. And they're, and they're like, oh, that's, that's okay. You know, CP3, I, I understand your point, nigger. You know, <laughs> like, like, they, don't, they don't care. Yep. Bruh. That's a fact. Um, uh, Ken DC people's champ. Sir, uh, yes, sir. Um, your your thoughts on what we're going through as far as the political situation, especially I, I want to ask you directly about um, Miss Cortez. Like I love her to death. Like, listen, I can sit here and I can make all the jokes I I, I can make about her make uh, making reference to PG County as you know uh, that nigger district or whatever. You, I mean, I've lived close enough to PG County, been in PG to know about it, but. All joking aside, it's just we're just seemingly in an era now where there's no brain to mouth filter with these folks anymore. There isn't. Um, we're, we're quick to redirect your answer, um, and that was cool. I just said redirect your answer. I never said that in my life. Um, <laughs> I, I, I would say I'm talking about Miss um, AOC. You know, the, the new Congresswoman, the new Democratic rep uh, representative. Yeah, the one that they everyone is so the Republican Party is so scared of and wants to keep on demonizing and calling her crazy. Democrats are also just want to change the whole that's trying to change the way Look, things are done. I'm I've always tried to stay away from politics because that's all it's about nowadays is demonizing people. Yeah. That's all it's about. Yes. It's not about doing anything for this country that they're supposed to represent. It's not about that anymore. It hasn't been about that for the longest time. And I worked in government for six years. And even where I worked at, it wasn't really much about the country per se. Politics is just that. It's just not about the country. They can go out there and they can grandstand and they can shake hands and kiss babies and say, hey, America, yeah. When in the, in, in the back, you know, background, like with the young lady from Hartford County or anybody else, when they're in their little private clubs or anything like that, it's nigger this, faggot that. And it shouldn't be that way. It should not. If yes. you're going to represent this country, if you're going to do things for this country, then God damn it, do it. Don't sit here and pretend you are and then in the background you're going to down talk a lot of people who make this country go. People like us, African Americans, people like people who are part of the LBGT community. These are the people that make this country go, but these are the people that those who sit in power tend to forget about. And it's a shame. Well, it's a um, shame. Um, CP3, um, we gotta switch it up. We gotta move, we gotta move fast. Uh, we only have a couple more minutes. Uh, CP3. Uh, to wrap this up, I mean, this is the epitome of this country. I mean, they've always demonized minorities, used them, criminalized them, and then, you know, play victim. And I mean, this is no shock to me. This is what this country about. Okay, they say it, nigger. Like you said, they say it all the time. 
It's just the fact that it's in everybody's face and everyone believed the great lie that's been ever told that America the great. America has never been great. It's just been better than other countries. And because of all the missteps that they've made and don't want to take responsibility, now they want to blame the brown people or other countries when other countries have got their shit together and saw the recipe that America had and they've made it better and that's why they're excelling and passing us. America stopped being great when we stopped thinking outside of the box and everybody falls in the line and everyone is prejudging everyone and oh, Oh, well, I did it. You should be able to do it, too. We grew up. It was look out for your fellow man. Everyone Amen. doesn't have the same blessings that you have. Right. I, I was blessed in my life, you know, for some of the things that I've achieved. But I'm not going to look down on Ken and say, oh, well, you didn't do what I did. What's wrong with you? You need to step your game up. No, I was in a position to get blessed to do that. And unfortunately, we have a nation of uh, overprivileged participation award winning millennials that don't understand real hard work and understand what really made this country great. And I'm going to end it on that. I'm just going to jump in real quick, just double back. I hate using the F word. I just want to, present company and everybody watching know that I hate that word. But unfortunately, that's a word that people behind the scenes that, again, think they represent this country use. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate what this country's become. I have. Folks, I hate it. Everyone, have an amazing night. Me and my new wife, the podium, because I can't find a real woman to marry. So I'm going to marry the podium. <laughs> he right? had, I'm, look, you know, GOP so is good for that. He, I'm just, he had to I'm turn just saying, I'm going to marry this podium, and I, I, and, and you know, and, and it'll be me one day and, and Trump debating podium versus podium because that's just what it is. Folks, have an amazing night. And, and guys, we don't have time for the whole. Everyone tell you where you can find them, um, folks. Things are going. But real down. quick. But no, no, th there is no real quick right now. Um, like no spots podcast this Friday. New co-host. That's all I gotta say. Thank dude, you. We got it. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, folks. Um, thank you so much for tuning into us right here at WLVS Radio, True Radio Network, True Radio, our, our show. We had an explosive night, and I, I, I honestly don't even know why I'm standing up here, but it's cool. You know, hey y'all, take care. We God bless.